Monsieur, bonjour. Once again, this is Jacques Tuto. <laughs> aboard the cha-cha-cha. As you may well remember, in the past several months, uh, I and my assistant, Pierre, <laughs> have shown you various aspects of marine life. We have explored and filmed the underwater life of the seashore, the friendly dolphin, and the tiny little guppies. <laughs> now we will investigate the deadly, great, white, Phantom squid. <laughs> now, the phantom squid <laughs> is a very interesting animal. It is one of the most feared and horrifying creatures of the deep. Pardon, Last week, we have the guppy. The little guppies, we will show my pepper. We go. Today, we show the giant squid. She's a pepper. She's a pepper. Don't worry, everything will be all right. The great white squid is only this big. No, what's it? This big. Oh, in its infancy. Once reaching maturity, it is 30 feet long. A grand mama. Now, their feeding, their feeding habits are voracious. <laughs> they are known to consume 158 pounds a day. She's a man, Pierre. Is it a man, Pierre? Is it a man? Hello? I weigh 158. Oh, c'est un peur, c'est un... Quand j'y t'ai... Pierre, this is not time to fix your peur. Please, this is not set up. C'est un audience. Now, Pierre will be taking with him a flashlight so he can see underwater. But once he reaches the depth of 40 to 50 fathoms, this tiny flashlight may be useless in the murky deep and may just act as a beacon, which will attract the great white phantom squid. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> However, lucky for Pierre, we have equipped him, we have equipped him with a squid repellent. <laughs> I should mention that this repellent is a new formula, which makes it iffy. It may, <laughs> it may disgust the squid's taste buds, uh -huh. or act as a seasoning. We don't know yet yet, <laughs> However, the great white squid is not a reckless killer and will not attack unless provoked. The only thing that will provoke him is a man in the water. <laughs> Now you will notice, you will notice that a rope is attached to Pierre's waist. The other end is attached to a motorized pulley. So should the deadly squid attack Pierre, I will immediately start the motor and pull him up from the water to safety. Oh. Also built into his mask is a two-way radio, oh. and I will be in contact with him all the time. Oh. Consequently, I alone will be responsible for Pierre's oh. life. Are you ready, Pierre? Oh. <laughs> As you can see, Pierre is doing divers breathing exercises in preparation for the descent. Let's go, Pierre. <laughs> Oh, she did a lullaby. We sit there. Lullaby? <laughs> uh, come on, the long and listen. <laughs> <laughs> lullaby. She said, my foot. All right. Now, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this expedition is not as dangerous as it sounds, <laughs> but the great white phantom squid. <laughs> Now listen to me. <laughs> this great white phantom squid is an endangered species. Uh, Consequently, there are only seven in the entire ocean. So the odds on it being in this area are quite remote. <laughs> what 
do you know? We're in luck. This is big trouble here. Make sure you get some good photographs, Pierre. I got the whole family. Look. Have you stopped the motor? Hey, they're getting ink all over me now. Yes, yes. The motor, this machine is a crap. Get better, huh? C'est la vie. Anyway, next week we will present to you an ecological... An ecological documentary entitled The Harm That Man Has Brought to the Sea. Oh, Pierre, I'll give you a hand, Pierre. Well, you have just witnessed man's age-old struggle with the sea. But this time, man lost. But that's entertainment.